What up, y'all? Welcome to the internet. We're going to do some Vintage Cube. <clears throat> Last two days of Vintage Cube. We got some stips to do. I wonder if we can... Draft Grix as Super Friends. Love it. Draft some aggro. <clears throat> do what I did and let it just grow out. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> That's... No. My hair is naturally curly. So if I let it just grow out, I actually look like... It's terrible. It's not manageable. And it stresses me out. And I feel dirty because I my hair gets naturally oily when I leave it for too long. So, oh yeah, look at that. That's some solid. Yeah, I'm going to scoot this over then. Uh, Grix's Planeswalkers? I mean, we only have part of... Like, this, why is Dismember? Like, is it because it's a promo? Like, it's, it's like it's higher than the Mythics. Promo. There is nothing vintage about this pack. I guess Scrubland, but that's that's main, that's mainly legacy. <clears throat> what if I move this? No effect. Okay. I was like, maybe this is blocking the light. God. I mean, Karn is decent for Grixis Planeswalkers. I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. I think it's just Karn. Oh God. Oh, Watergrave and a Steam Vents in the same pack. Oh, biscuits. Let's try Grixis Planeswalkers. Super Friends. It's called Super Friends. Cause I just like this deck. And also, I'm gonna take the Steam Vents and <clears throat> maybe the Water. Maybe the Watergrave comes back. I mean, we can hope. Oh, Chandra is very nice. Shanala, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Hey, it's Franklin. I, I also like remanded him to Torok, but Chandra fits the stip. Ooh, Lightning Bolt fits the stip. Ward Power Stone's alright, but... I mean, I'd rather go for Signets in a deck that's going to be this color intensive. Oh, Splinter Twin and Zealous Conscripts in the same pack? Well, just because we're going Super Friends doesn't mean... Actually, Zealous Conscripts has to be just better, right? Maybe not. See, there's three cards you can use with Splinter Twins. Zealous Conscripts, Dissy Rex Arc, and Pestermite, but there's only two. Splinter Twin. I'm taking Splinter Twin. <clears throat> um, Gonti and Frost Titan are both kind of fine. Nick, I agree with you, but considering they were both in that one pack, I feel like our odds of getting them are reasonable. I don't, it doesn't seem like anyone's picking them that high. <laughs> oh, God, excuse me. Um, God. Could also take, like, Marsh Flats or Verdant Catacombs as well. I think Gonti's actually the better card. Uh. <clears throat> oh, this pack's pretty bad. Mm. Could be Firebolt. Yeah, it might have been one of the lands for sure. Um, Plate Splinter Twin on your Lightning Bolt. I'll take this guy. I don't love him, but... I'll take him. Bitter Blossom, eh? <clears throat> I mean, let's be honest. Koth is not a... Uh, it's not a super friend. <clears throat> mm, this member came back. 
Feels better than light at the stage. Oh, Copper Line Gorge came back. That's kind of the same. Unfortunate. Koth has done literally nothing for me. Well, we're getting lots of lands, just not good ones. Coming to your house. <clears throat> hey, it's Nicholas. Coming to you. Isn't that guy who normally streams with you, Koth? What are you saying right now? I think you're losing me on this train of thought. I think... I think Kerbet's actually been drinking today. I don't think Kerbet's a drinker. This is all very strange. Oh my god. <clears throat> eh, Liliana's a thing. Sure. This pack started very good, and then it kind of trailed off to trash. I was supposed to visit you and everyone in Florida when I take my vacation. This is well. The point is, everyone's everyone's in Colorado now, so it doesn't matter. Why would you think that's Koth? What are you saying right now, Kerwit? I feel like I don't know what's going on right now. I don't get this Koth reference you're making here. Okay, Soul Ring's pretty good. I would like a Pluto Delta, but you know, it's a Soul Ring. Let's not. Let's not split hairs here, guys. Nick, let's be honest, buddy. When you visit Florida, you hang out with us for 13 days, and you then go hang out with friends, like, for one day. So, come on. Let's be serious here. You know, We all know what's happening, buddy. <clears throat> also, I'd love to see you, so whatever you decide, you will have a place to stay. As long as you don't have any diseases. Fallen Shinobi with Bitter Blossom. Sorry, guys, we got a Fallen Shinobi. I'm sorry. He's basically a Planeswalker. Jimmy, I hope you're enjoying your Tequila Sunrise and being safe, my dude. Misty Rainforest. <clears throat> I like it. I also don't like Luca in terms of uh, Planeswalkers for this deck. So, you know. Volcanic Island in the sky. I wish it was underground sea, but I think Volcanic Island's still pretty, pretty banging. Scarab God would be great here, but. Spiral of Canal. Apparently they're just going to give us all of the, uh, the red, black, red, blue lands. Rakdos Super Friends is kind of like sweet blue red fixing for a red black deck. Yeah, buddy. I know. I know. Dig through time. Hmm. Seasoned Pyromancer. Rakdos's Return, which is basically just Mind Twist Light. <clears throat> Is 
Super Fritz, enjoy work, buddy. You know, as much as you can. It's one of these four cards. Uh, you know, I can't tell you which, but it's one of them. Ugh, <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Let's just go with Rakdos' return. I actually think it's a decent. Plus, we got Chandra Mana and we got Soul Ring. <clears throat> as long as you don't have a disease, the most commonly uttered phrase post 2020. Well, the thing about Luca is that it'll probably just come back. Come on, let's be real. Dark Ritual. This pack's pretty meh. I guess I'll take Dark Ritual because I think it has the highest upside. <clears throat> oh, Duretti is great for our Planeswalker deck. That's real good, actually. <clears throat> so right now we only have Duretti, Chandra, Liliana, and Karn. Wow, the Grave Titan came back? Grave Titan, come back! You can blame it all on me! I was wrong. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <clears throat> you can make it all on me. Everything about you. What does Yorion do? Yorion blinks Grave Titan. It can reset our Planeswalkers. Blinks Gonti. Probably better than Banefire. And I don't care about Plague Crafter at all. See what I said? This is what I'm telling you guys. <clears throat> if our only creatures are like these three, that's pretty cool, right? Get back in the deck. Get back in the deck! Um, Again, Yawgmoth is pretty decent with, like, Bitter Blossom, so... You guys always ask where Michael is. If it's during the day, Michael's at work, man. He's got a fucking job. God, I'm sorry to be aggressive, but, like, you guys are always asking where Michael is. Like, the dude has a fucking job. The guy's got a job! He has a job that he works at. <laughs> it's just like, he's got a job. When are you going to add custom channel rewards like, I'll eat a whole hot dog? Sorry, dude. Well, I mean, like, you can't just be here all the time. No offense. I, I don't mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm, it's just a question I get asked all the time. And I'm like, guys, you know, it's my stream, not Michael's stream, right? Like, I don't know. There's definitely times where I feel like I don't have control over my own, my own content. And I'm just kind of like, I'll just hang out and play Magic, you know? <sighs> Is Man of Vault or Mystic Comp? It's got to be Man of Vault, right? Oh. Well, that's good for our Super Friends deck. I would really like some more fixing. Preferably uh, fixing that's black, but... Yeah, Jace the Mind Sculpture is pretty good. Liliana of the Veil... What are you discarding? What are we discarding here? Anything? <sighs> yeah, we also have Duretti as well. That's a good point. What was the other thing? Pyromancer? Well, I'm not 100% on Pyromancer. Hmm. 
I mean, if this Misty was a like a white blue land, if this was like a flooded strand, I could get Tundra. But I guess if it was a flooded strand, no. If it was like an arid Mesa, I think it's Liliana, man. I don't know. This deck doesn't strike me as having a bunch of things we want to discard, unfortunately. Croxa. Maybe Cro maybe maybe we're a Croxa deck. I mean, right now we are not a Splinter Twin deck, unfortunately. No, there's definitely like so so to address the like you are Batman in my history, like the, to address that, like, there's definitely times where I'm like in a game and I'm trying to make plays and I'm trying to figure out what to do. And, like, no one is listening. You know, maybe, maybe they're probably listening on, like, YouTube or, like, there probably are people listening in, in Twitch. But, like, Mike is over here chatting about, like, poker or something. And you guys are asking him questions. And I'm just, like, sitting here trying to play the game. And I'm like, can we talk about magic? Is that a thing we can do? Like, it's just, it almost gets, like, frustrating to me. Because I'm like, guys, this is a magic stream. This is my job. This is what I do for a living. And, like, it feels like I'm in the background of my own stream sometime. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Guys, we got another. It's okay. We got another blue. Black, we got another blue. Blue red land. <laughs> so this is probably like literally all of them. I mean, we're still gonna take it. But good lord, are there any black blue lands? But it's weird to just sit here and be like, hold on, I really have to figure out this play. Like, I don't know what's gonna, this could cost us the game. And then like nobody's paying attention. You know, it's like, or it, that's how it feels because. You know, there's a separate conversation over here. And even Mike, the person who's streaming with me, not even six inches away, has no idea what's happening in the game of Magic we're playing. You know, and it's kind of just weird. So, I don't know. It gets to me, it just gets to me a little bit because I'm like, this is my, this is my channel, right? This is my content. And like, I don't want to, I, I, just, I just don't like the feeling of being like, hey, I'm just sitting here playing Magic, but like, you guys are just waiting for Mike to get here, and I'm just like, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> See you later. You know, it's a weird feeling. It's definitely a weird feeling, but, like, it's something that builds over, like, you know, weeks. What does a cheesy deck mean? I don't even know what that means. Kiki is pretty decent, but, like... All right, I have a Splinter Turn on plan. I think we're just taking Fire Confluence. Why couldn't that Gruul Signet be, like, a... I don't know. Is it Signet? We could really use some more blue-red fixing, I think. Ugh. Thank you. <laughs> Dustin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it, my dude. Maybe some Luigi tonight. Yeah, we were talking about it. God, I really... There's been so many white cards that I've wanted to play. Two Teferis, a Restoration Angel. We have, like, no artifacts. Burning is probably the only card I can even consider taking here. I think Glory Ringer is actually fine. Oh, man, our deck's looking rough right now. Are we just playing Dragon Dot deck now? I mean, Soul Ring and Mana Vault. It's not bad. Eh, P and Karen Alara is fine. Better than Splinter Twin. Because Splinter Twin is really bad in a deck where you pick up no other pieces for Splinter Twin. Ren and Six. Goblin Rabble Master seems actually fine. Especially with Yawgmoth. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Jake, what up, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. Long time no see, my dude. Jake, how are things in Utah? How is your how are your safety levels? Because good lord, your state's looking rough right now. I feel like it's catching up with everybody. We have one cut to make. 
dude, we have two blue lands. This is basically just a blue black, a black red deck with splashing blue. God, the shrine doesn't do. Missing Mortar is actually fine. Dang, Sacred Foundry. There's so much white, red, white, black. We could just play Mardu instead. This could have been a sick Mardu deck. Maybe not, because all the cards we want are blue, white. Thank you. S. Corbett, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, double Masters drafts could be legit. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, so we need two cuts now. COVID be crazy. Good to see every time I get some some mountain healthcare mail. For, oh man, how come mountain healthcare is not forwarding my mail here? That's unbelievable, man. They should know better. After all the things, after all the times we shared, me and mountain healthcare. Misty Rainforest just gets volcanic and steam vents, which is still better than nothing, I guess. Crocs might be hard to cast. No, what? Not at all. This is literally a black-red deck. And we're splashing four, two blue cards off of, like, this fixing. Like, it's gonna have... We're, we're mostly mountains and, and, and swamps. Crocs is actually one of the easiest cards in the deck to cast. I think Liliana... You can't cut a Planeswalker, though, right? Like, that seems pretty bad. P and Kieran Alar, maybe? Season Pyromancer, maybe? We have Dismember, Incinerate, Mizzy Mortars, Lightning Bolt. Maybe Incinerate, actually. We have Mizzy Mortars now. I could see that. Oh, we got one more cut. Dang it. Dang it. Hard to get five in the yard? I don't think that's true at all. We have Liliana to discard. We have Season Pyromancer to discard things. We have a bunch of disposable creatures like Rabble Master, P and Kieran LR. Plus, like, even if you're not, you don't have to, like, you don't have to escape Crocs, so you just cast him. Like, you just, big deal, it's a, it's a discard spell that sits in your graveyard. Like, Liliana also mills us, don't forget. Like, we have actually quite a few ways to get cards in the yard. Oh, uh, I, I don't want to cut either of the Flyers because of Fallen Shinobi. I also think these are great threats and just ways to close out games. Um, I would sooner cut P and Kieran LR. I think they're actually worse. Thank you. Sort by color. Yep, lots of red. JTHD? Is it John Day? Alright, we're going to say two. So this is six sources of... Seven sources of blue, technically. Six. No, this is five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to eight. So this is eight, eight, six. Eight, eight, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems pretty decent. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We only get twelve. So I guess we're going down to seven black sources instead. Hmm. Is that okay? It seems fine. Like we also have Mana Vault and Soul Ring. There's so many double black and double red cards in one Jace the Mind Sculptor. I mean, I'd rather have a 3-drop Rabble Master than a 4-drop uh, P and Kieran LR. I mean, I don't know if that's correct, but... That's the impression that I get...
Uh, snap keep. Look at this. Look at this snap keep arena. One more red source. God, we can't even lose. Pia does make flyers. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Look, it's all happening. This is a perfect curve. We can hit, like, one more red source. Does their name have a period? Avatar of Destiny period? That's super weird. <laughs> Buddy, that's not a sentence. Oh, wow. This is a hell of a turn. I'm just going to make a discard, which is less effective when you have a uh, coercive portal on board. If we cut Jace, that island might have been a mountain. That's true. But then we would have cut Jace. So, you know, seems worse. Thirteen? Good lord. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I get to play a Duretti, so joke's on you. Actually, to be fair, the joke is on us. I don't know if you knew that. No, must be nice. I wouldn't know personally, but I've heard. This seems better than just casting a Duretti that goes to one immediately. I'm going to vote Carnage for the lulls. I mean, how good is Jace really? See, the thing is, no one who's ever cast the Jace the Mind Sculptor has ever asked that question. Uh-huh. That's the thing. Turn four, Tarka, huh? Seems good. And they want to flip, so, you know. Yeah, just keep keep playing things. Just make sure you get all the things. Huh. I'm gonna go to the next game. Oh, oh, Mana Vault, fashionably late. Fashionably late to the party. Hmm. I think it's I think we're okay. Mesmeric Fiend could be decent. I don't I, I don't know if they, how much removal they're gonna have. I'd rather cast my great souls and so I, I I okay, seven blue sources is plenty enough to cast a J. Dude, like this is a weird thing. People say stuff like that, but then like if you look at let's look at a regular M twenty one draft. What's your distribution in a two color deck? Is is it eight nine? Because, like, that seems correct, right? You play 17 lands, 8, 9. So we have 7 sources of blue, which is literally 1 less than your average 2-color deck. So, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I understand, like, like, why you, you're under the impression that we're just not going to be able to cast him in a 6 and a 7 island deck. Like, that's weird to me. We'll however play forty one cards here. <laughs> Look, we already have two islands. Look, two blue sources, guys. 
We can already cast Jace. He's not going to be sitting in our hand. But the black cards might be. But again, like eight sources of black, so. I don't, I just, I don't agree with you that it's taxing our other colors. Like, we have two islands in the deck that can't cast anything. Everything else is a red source. Like, statistically, it's just not correct. Like, like both of these would be, if they, if they weren't blue sources, they would just be red sources. So, like, none of this took away from our black sources. I mean, this is, game is literally more about not drawing a third land than... Than not drawing a black source. <laughs> every, every, game, every game with the Mana Crypt in the Sylvan Library. Seems good. Yep, that's pretty hard to deal with. Yep, I'm just going to concede here. Like, uh, not getting a third land and uh, then getting Mana Crypt Sylvan Library into Vivian Reed seems just pretty ridiculous, so. That's cool. I should play 200. I should play 200 lands in general. So that way I draw six of them a game instead of one. Yep. not keeping two swamps yeah that seems better I guess I mean if seven blue sources isn't enough like well like the thing is like if seven blue sources isn't enough then like in a two color like M21 draft you shouldn't play any double blue cards you know what I mean like because eight sources probably also isn't enough. Like eight, I don't think from seven to eight is like the cutoff of like you could have a double double blue card with with eight mana, but not with seven mana sources. So it's just like either seven mana sources is okay to cast something or it's not. You know what I mean? Like two lands again, guys. <laughs> two games in a row. Oh man. One time. No times. All right. See, this is a situation where the, the, the island did cost us, but, like, it doesn't mean we can't... We're, like, I don't think the answer is just don't play blue cards. Like, that just seems silly. But, admittedly, a black... But then again, we just missed two land drops as well. So, like, presumably, if we had any two lands, one of them would allow us to cast something. So, you know. I'll just kill this so they can resto it in response and draw a card, right? So this is two games with a maximum of four lands. Turning your luck around? No, not at all. <laughs> no, not even a little bit, man. Oh, man. Do you, I mean, like, sh sure, if drawing two lands by turn six, two games in a row is, is that then... You know you have to sign up for Premiere and I'm just you gotta get the proper lands to cast spells. I I've been waiting for it. I also don't think the island I mean like the island cost us in the sense that we can't make them discard one card with Croxa, right? Like 
the alternative is either we're drawing more red red lands or we're drawing more blue lands, right? And eventually we'll either be able to cast Jace. If if the island costs us so much that we only draw blue lands, then we're casting Jace. If if it costs us and that we draw some black lands, then we can still cast these. So like I don't know. Streaming, <laughs> unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna. What'd they get? Oh, they got the title of Scholar, sure. These games are not representative of all, though. You're so lucky. <laughs> Dude, it's unreal, man. It's unreal. I do feel like I do feel like some sort of curse has been placed on me. So, if you guys uh, know any witch doctors or shamans or, um, you know, wh whatever kind of profession would be able to remove this curse, let me know. Let me know. Uh, hit me up in the chat or you can email me because uh, I really like to get it taken care of. That would be great. I'd really, I'd really enjoy it. Oh. Well, we're going to dismember this guy and then they're going to counter it, so. <sighs> Sad but true. Ready? What? Oh, baby. They should have taken Lightning Bolt because then I'd have to dismember the title of color. Oh, wow. Maybe they did have a counter spell and we just got extremely lucky. Oogly boogly cards must be drawn goodly. Well, oh, guys, seven turns, two lands. We also have Mana Vault and a Soul Ring. So essentially 19 sources of mana in the deck. We have drawn two of them in 12 cards. Yep. So they get to play a Karn and uh, we have two lands. So, it's I I just have to keep telling myself the the these draws and these games are not representative of my my caliber of Magic player. I uh, I've I've I have to keep telling myself that I've top aided premier events before, and uh, I'm a decent player if I actually get to play the game of Magic: The Gathering and interact with my opponent. So, what can you do? It's just because you know sometimes you don't have enough mana, you know. Sometimes you just... You need more. It's my mana, and I want it now. This is how they play. Play three mana tap free. Hmm. <laughs> Still, I can't play anything with it. Hilarious. Hilarious. I I'd love to explain to you guys why we're still playing this specific game, but I don't have an answer for you. do 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 just setting a little timer on my phone. What are you setting a timer for? None of your business, God. Um, okay. In other bad beats, while Eldrazi are non artifact or Chromox, MTG will let you choose them. They do not have colors and thus do not work. <laughs> That's, oh no. Yeah, add one mana if any of the XL card's colors. Colorless is not a color, so I mean, as the card is written, that does not work. 
I remember in a pizza queue one time, I was playing Chrome Mox and I tried to exile a Thopter Foundry. And I could not because it was an artifact. And I was like, oh, this is exciting. It's going to tap for Esper. But then it did not. And I was very sad. Yep. This is a Nugan. Walking Ballista. You know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm just, I'm good. I am good. So very, very good. Wait, so if you exile a Devoid card, it just wouldn't, like... It wouldn't, it wouldn't tap for anything because Devoid has no color. A card has no color. More lands. <laughs> um, God, it'd be great if I could draw Mana Vault or Soul Ring once in in four games. I mean, theoretically, if you get a red land, it's actually a great hand. You'll see them in round round three. I'll absolutely crush because I have to keep my one two streak alive. Here we go. Double red card. Sounds good. Sounds good. The island does look trash right now. Yep. Thank you. Unforgiven with the resub. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you for the support during these trying times. I feel like I should be over more. Just keep scooting over. <laughs> uh, land's not treating you so well. What else is new, my dude? What else is new? Hey, that's actually, look at that, it's a castable card. Unfortunately, I have a pretty pricey keyboard, so I'll probably just have to not do that. I never cared much for moonlit skies, never drew lands against these guys. Dude, if I draw one Liliana <laughs> with a handful of uncastable cards, I mean, I think the least they can... I, I think it's, like, literally the least... Oh, 
Oh yeah, let's do that. You know what? <laughs> We're living the dream, guys. We are living the dream. That's where they cast Teferi and Bounce. And then we get to draw one red, play Ralph Master, and attack Tef. Oblivion Ring. Okay. Mana Vault into Karn. Double red card. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. just have a book handy and like whenever this happens I can just read from the book as our opponent plays with themselves and I can just be like chapter 3 Frank watched as his opponent played cards and he didn't hit more than 3 lands in 7 turns for 2 games in a row Fuck this game. This is actually ridiculous. Seven seven turns, three lands. It's like, I, I what am I going to do? Oh, God. Again, I really don't think the card, the, I, I don't think the colors are a problem when we don't have lands. Like, we've drawn two lands in game one, three lands in game two, and 14 turns. Like, I don't know why we're complaining about the pips. Like, the... We can't cast the cards without lands. If we had five lands, the odds of us casting any card in our hand is like astronomical because you're guaranteed at least two or two of one color. Again, one land. Like, what am I going to do? Like, this is the most lands I've had in a single game in this entire draft. So. I feel like I could actually have an entirely different... I can have an entirely different streaming... Like, I can, I can have a gimmick where I'm just the guy who doesn't get lands. And you guys can come from far and wide to watch me not get lands. Ew, you're skinny? Doubt it. Laserful. That's not your name. I know your tricks, Giordano. <sighs> this guy thinks we're here for any other reason. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. I also called you Giordano rather than Jorlando. Which made me sad, but... <laughs> you better not be peeping. Don't you be ghosting, New You're skinny. Man, look at us go. Look at all these cards we have. It's gonna get countered, right? I'm full of lasers. <laughs> Nick, can you prove that? Oh, wow. Things are happening. I cannot. 
Hey, I just got here to see the perfect curve. This deck must be killing it. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> We're having a good time. J-Link, I'm sorry that this draft went the way it did, man. Hope this one goes better. Well, the first two rounds were basically identical. Uh, I drew about two lands in every single game, except for that last game against you, I drew three. This game, I also drew three. So, maybe we can hit a fourth land, because that'd be nice, because then this guy is, is pretty good. But, um, you know... That's fine. Eskold, I could have sworn you had a counter spell. I was like, oh, he kept up two. They're going to counter this. But then you didn't. And I was like, whoa! I see. Fascinating. <laughs> eh, it never fails <laughs> oh god it was too good to be true guys it was too good to be true too good to be true I never cared much for Teferi I Next one they have three, four, six, seven, eight mana though, which is why Tefri is pretty wild here. So that's cool. Man, if only I had Fallen Shinobi, I could have killed this Tefri, or I could have, you know, looked at two. I guess. Badger, what up, my dude? I recently put all of Dishonored and watched every episode of yours. Oh, man, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, Dishonored was great. I used to ramble through the dark. Need a lane that... It's gotta be Spire Bluff Canal. You ready? I'm ready. Oh my god, we got a game. Who do we kill? Tezzeret or Doretti? Hmm... I think it's Tezzeret. Kill the opponent? Man. One and one. Like I think I think killing Tezzer is just more important than two random cards I could get. Doretti digs, but like what are they gonna dig to? Like they only have three mana on board where Tezzer gives them like five, six. Which I think is way more important. And plus we're still gonna hit the Doretti. And we still got like fairy boys coming out. Tex needs to go. All right, well. Well, 
that's unfortunate. The most value Frank can get out of a fallen shinobi is killing a planeswalker. Which I guess is not terrible. I think we can take three here, actually. I don't really care about the stupid construct. I'd much rather keep uh, amassing flyers for Doretti. Oh my goodness gracious, what is happening right now? These are all cards I can cast. Doretti, Doretti, Mom's Spaghetti. Wow. <laughs> Show me what you got. Mana Crypt? Hmm. I don't think it's Mana Crypt. I thought it was at first because I was like, I could cast this. I think it's actually Counterspell here. Could be Seasoned Pyromancer as well. I think Counterspell is just going to keep us safer. It's Island and you know, in my heart it's Island. I like that our Planeswalker deck is literally just trying to kill their Planeswalkers. <sighs> no attacks, huh? Now that the stars are in your eyes, I'm beginning to see the light. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. So we can just kill this Karn. I think we just keep Counterspell up. I would love to Rakdos as a return, but... Uh, I actually have no idea what's coming this Wednesday after Vintage Cube. Are they just gonna mill themselves? God, they're basically dead. All right, let's see what you hit. Goblin Welder. I mean, that's just Doretti 2.0, right? Get this guy out of here. I mean, we can still counter what he activates with Urza, and we have Dismember to kill the the Urza, so he's dead now. Oh, thank baby Jesus. Um, 
They're ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready. Mom's spaghetti. Yes, they changed the dismember art. They removed most of the Noah Bradley and Teresa Nielsen art from the cube. Do you have any interest in Popper or any dreadful content? No, not at all. It's just not a format that appeals to me. Um, I'm just going to pass here. The antibody. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. What are you getting here? Bolus is Citadel, huh? Well, that's the thing, I guess. Yep. Well, they're at... No, don't be doing that. Are you a counter back? <laughs> oh god fantastic draw a card get your own counter spell back how many double masters cards are going to find a place in your cube I, I also feel like I want all the new arts I agree with you I don't what why Do they have no targets for Tinker? Like, well, I don't understand. Oh, okay, sure. I don't know. I don't know. Did he draw Blight still? That'd be hilarious. Well, now they have a counter spell in hand. That was pretty cool. Oh my god. I mean, actually, don't we just kill them this turn? We deal five with the fairies and then Rakdos return them? Oh, they have counter spells, so no, that's not how that works. <sighs> yeah. The one counter, that counter, that's hilarious. I took counter spell, they remand it. They get their counter spell back. Yeah. So nothing we play here is going to resolve. And then they tap down one of our blockers. We want to keep the two blockers up so we can deal them four. I guess we can deal them three, right? They tap a blocker down. We block Frost Titan and this guy. We take three, four, five, six, seven. It's 
Let's get them for two. Because I think if we play Grave Titan here... Like, they're going to counter this. But then we might be clear for Rakdos to return next turn. If we survive, which we should with the amount of stuff on board. Like, even if we block three things, we still have three attackers and a Rakdos to return. So, like... I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a Blight still in the deck now. What about I don't what what about Citadel? I mean they don't have ten permanents, so I'm not really worried about it. They only have eight. Brett, what up, my dude? Long time no see, buddy. I mean, them being able to kill an extra blocker with Glorybringer's nice, but hmm. Just can't put my finger on it. Wow. Laserful does stink. He's the worst. And we're definitely just blocking here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap down another one? Sure. Nothing relevant to get back in the graveyard with Welder. Soul Ring's fine. Soul Ring, Mana Crypt was your hand? Jesus. Oh, you just played... <laughs> Why even fucking attack? Just kill me, dude. Come on, man. Sweet BMs, bro. Wow. <laughs> oh man, the one time you forget Bullis the Citadel has text is the time you have a zero and one mana artifact in hand. Cool. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Oh, boy. Can't win a game, dude. I love struggling for like just just so long. And you're like, hold on, if I navigate this just so, I can get them in a situation where I can rack this as a return for three. And then they're like, oops, casually remembered that my card has text to deal you 10 damage with the two cards in my hand that I can cast with two mana. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Well, that's worse for Liliana. One of the few creatures you could have played there that actually isn't great for us.
Well, at least I can bounce this with Jace. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> Wait, what? For sure, let's do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Everything is alright. I'm better these dad jokes, man. <laughs> oh, God. said too much I haven't said enough or oh, definitely playing one of these guys or we can Misty for a volcanic island that seems better hmm and then we can fiery confluence that doesn't seem great here actually let's put island spire bluff back play this got a volcanic Lily. Target player sacrificed the creature. Do 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 do. I'm loving it. All right, we'll see if this does anything. Of course, of course, the very the second game in the third round is when our super friends finally get it together. All the years of me sitting across from Mike and letting him take 15 minute turns led me to this moment and I couldn't be more proud, but I want you to destroy Michael's dreams and obliterate. <laughs> oh man. Also our opponent's name is, is Michael. So that's who they're referring to. Oh my God. This fiery confluence is going to be, the fucking gold standard of fiery confluences. Oh, I don't like any seasoning with my pyromancers. They're already seasoned. So, I find that you don't want to add too much seasoning. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light. Upticking Liliana. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, the Spire Bluff came back. God, though, the red is a lot here. Oh, man, a vault. Wow, twice, Nick? Twice, really? Oh, biscuits. I don't think we're playing Mana Vault because there's nothing else we can play with it. Oh, that's true. It was Mana Crypt and a Mana Vault. Wow, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so proud. What are we discarding here? Probably Dismember. Oh, they're just going to counter this, aren't they? And it's going to be real sad. Mm, 
It's going to be your last card. It was not your last card. Oh, we actually probably should have killed Coalition Relic here. I think that would have been better, but... I mean, I had Fiery Confluence all ready to go. Yep, that guy's pretty good. But I have a Liliana of the Veil. So, you know, my concern is... A Star Wars movie... Solo, so I think Solo's good. I enjoyed Solo a bunch. Um, Chandra into Fiery Confluence. Into Kill This Guy seems real good. Let's also play a land here. Put Mana Vault and Pyromancer back. Play Spire Bluff. Uh, two damage to each opponent and two artifacts. That's not correct. We're still not using Duretti's ability, and I don't know why. Like, I keep forgetting to use it. That's my fault. Like, it was almost surely better to, to sacrifice an artifact from Duretti to kill Frost Titan. But then we wouldn't have had mana to, to fire a Confluence as well, so... Or to put Chandra on the board, rather. So it's like a trade-off. Eh. God damn, dude. <laughs> Two swamps, man. Also, four mana, four mana, six mana, seven mana, expel? No, that's not going to do it. You know what? I'll keep it. Let's put one swamp back. Ancestral Vision, huh? Well, that's a pretty good counter to a turn one Rakdos return. The average person walks past 11 murderers in their life? That seems insane. I wonder how, how do you get that? How do you get a... How do you get a statistic like that? We'll just pass here. Yeah. 
Did you see those hot dogs with cheese? I don't even like hot dogs, though. As someone who doesn't eat meat, I don't know why I would like those hot dogs, but... I don't like bacon either. I don't even eat meat. Although I do like jalapenos, so. Look at this, man. Look at this fucking degenerate, bro. And I got two dragon assholes in my hand. Oh, you said with a replacement for the hot dog. You did say that. Okay. I mean, it does look pretty good, I'll be honest with you. God damn. I saw her today in the reception. You get what you need. Let's see if you're going to remand this to my hand and actually invalidate my entire man of all. Oh, you're discarding. Wait, what? Why didn't you play Tezzeret last turn? I'm confused. Oh, man. Lost the flip? Basically dead. You're going down, Michael. Come on, red mana one time. You know what? You're not a red mana, but... I accept your contribution to the... To the table. Did I mean bedroom? Alexa was like, did you mean bedroom? And I'm like, no, dude. Hmm. I don't know that one. Oh, God, she's going crazy. All right, let's see if they're going to die to their own mana crypt here. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Lose that flip. Lose that flip. We're getting them. We're getting them. Mummy Brown was a shade of brown paint made from ground-up Egyptian mummies. It was sold until 1964 when the manufacturers ran out of mummies. Is that true? That sounds insane. Well, now none of our cards are very good. Actually, you know what? Maybe they still are. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So we can Chandra here, or we can Fiery Confluence. How close are they dead if we just go Fiery Confluence and six them? They go to th they go to three, so they die to their own Mana Crypt flip. That's just too good to pass up, right? Thank you. Oh, dang, we're all out of mummies. <laughs> I guess it's time to close up shop. <laughs> <coughs> Nick, you still have to send me a deck to play. Since they since they changed companions. Come on, one time. Damn it. Dang it. We're so close. We're so close. Send me the link to donate. Would like to do this if you're still going to stream. Yes, for sure, man. Just donate, right?
just googled mummy brown historically demand for mummy brown sometimes outstripped the available supply of true Egyptian mummies leading to occasional substitution of contemporary corpses made from slaves or criminals Jesus Christ also like aren't mummies like historically can you just grind up mummies for makeup aren't you aren't they like necessary I don't do I not know mummies Okay, that guy doesn't do anything. You might find you get what you need. We are one coin flip away from just winning this game. Also, they could definitely have one of two counter spells in their hand right now, and that would be less than ideal does Chandra do it? no they're going to remand it they never don't have that it's always the struggle guys it's never just a straightforward here we go Mana Crypt Mana Crypt wins us the game Oh, one, two, thanks to the Mana Crypt. Oh, man. J-Link, thank you so much for the, for the for the stipulation, man. Really appreciate it. I'm so sorry that we went one, two, and then our mana, our draw, our land draws were just not happening. If As as a regular viewer of the stream, I'm pretty sure you're probably familiar with that, though. So, anyway, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on uh, twitch.tv slash mana. Nope, that's not it. Twitch.tv slash strength for manachers.com, coolstuffing.com, and... Uh, anywhere else you can ch check out freshly brewed the podcast with rob every week anywhere you want to uh, check out podcasts and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching